Michael Jackson, I'm a smooth criminal. Hello, my beautiful dolls. This is how Dola Hair packages the hair they send you. It comes in this very beautiful lavender zebra box. And on the back, there is instructions on how to maintain your hair. I do find it interesting that they said human hair and not virgin hair. But according to the website, the hair is virgin, so I'm going to believe it. So now I'm opening the box, and this is how the wig looked inside the box. This isn't my first time taking it out, but I haven't really touched it, and I placed it back inside the box for this video. It looked so full and gorgeous in the box, like unbelievable. So I have this hot pink bag now and they give you this to store your wigs so here is an example of how i've stored another wig of mine that i had using the dola bag my friend uses dola a lot and um they also give you clips these clips um are very pretty very in style right now sometimes they give you two of the same which i have and sometimes they give you two different ones i also have this edges brush which i really needed so i'm so grateful for that um, their card with a return policy on it I didn't really read it and just a thank you note saying thank you for your business and their social medias so now um, I am doing a shed test like I do anytime I buy um, a new wig just to see what I'm working with and honestly this wig did shed every single time I ran my fingers through it um, so that's a little problematic but it is platinum hair so that's not shocking um the lace on this wig is phenomenal it's gorgeous like these knots are not bleached but it still matches my skin so well i'm just showing you zoom in pieces of the wig and how the knots aren't bleached but they also aren't that noticeable so i think that's amazing if you don't know how to bleach your own hair and now i'm just going to try on the wig for you guys and talk about it Hey you guys, it's Queenie and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Join the fam. Today, I am coming to you with an initial review on this hair that I got from Dola Hair Company. I found them on their Instagram page at Dola Hair Mall, I believe, and I'll write that down here somewhere. My close friend star, she buys from them all the time. And I figured I'd order a wig too. Her wigs were always nice. She has a really nice fiery red wig from them that is just silky and it was very affordable. They give you 10% off or 20% off with a discount code and that discount code hits. It makes the hair very affordable. So I did get this honey blonde wig from Dola. Um, I didn't get it sponsored to me. I paid for this with my own cash, okay? It was not fun but I did it. I had to wait about three weeks for it to come in the mail, but it's not Dola's fault. It's my fault or not really my fault, but DHL fault. Um, DHL and my house address has problems, but I've been having problems with DHL shipping since last year. Um, I can link the video where I had a big order shipped to me um, of clothes through DHL and I had to go through so many problems um, in order to get that package. So it had nothing to do with Dola, but it did take me three weeks to get my hair. I believe, honestly, this hair is lovely. It's very beautiful. I'm feeling very Barbiana. This top on. <laughs> I am feeling very glam, very feminine. This hair, I do want to say, I have a few cons about it. But it's not really the hair itself that much. It's more the construction of the wig. For me, the construction of this wig is, um so so I'm not a huge wig person so i can't really attest to why certain things are a certain way i wear wigs and I'm, I'm trying to get better at them like become more professional or can start charging people to do their hair but i have to practice on myself clearly like i've been doing with everything in my life and i noticed with this wig the um the the hair is very thin. Well, once I flattened the hair is why I realized, um, I realized why they send you the wig very curly because it makes it look fuller. But I straightened this hair because I just didn't like the curly look on myself. Because that's the only time I like bond on myself is when my makeup is done. And this hair is just thin. Like, look at it. It's just like, you see? 
you can see through it so easily like this it's just this hair is very thin honestly and um all that says to me is that i'm going to either need to buy a new wig soon especially when i did the shedding test as you probably will see earlier in this video this hair does shed and i understand it sheds because it's, it's like basically platinum hair so they have to process it a lot you know i'm not going to beat them up about that you know it's inevitable at this point but the hair is thin so that means this wig is not going to last long and I'm gonna or I'm going to have to buy a new one. I mean, $130, $140. I can't remember exactly. I'll write it in the description below how much I paid. Um, I mean, that's not a lot, but that's still something. Like, I don't want to have to be buying new wigs because um, you guys didn't give me enough hair for a processed bleach blonde wig. It's going to shed regardless because of that. But I'm going to just add color on top of this and I'm just going to have as much fun with it as I can because right now it is gorgeous. Like in the sun it is gorgeous. Um, the lace itself is very beautiful. Like you can't even really see it on me and I don't have any makeup on my lace right now which I usually do. Just phenomenal. I do think that is pretty. Um, it's just a little thin. So if you order this maybe add a buy a bundle and sew it in yourself. I didn't do that because I didn't realize it would come so thin. And then another con i have about this hair is the it's supposed to be quote unquote glueless i think and that is why um there's like a huge band that i showed you guys um in the beginning of this video that you probably already seen <laughs> um the band is weird though like i don't know how to place it on my head to where it's flat so like right here there's a huge ignore my one now but right here there's like a huge lump and that's the band that is literally the band i'm gonna cut that off <laughs> it's just like it's making my wig very lumpy um and the wig itself already kind of comes with um like a band type thing that i showed before so it's not really needed like the band is probably only there so it can remain glueless but it defeats the purpose if you have my wig looking bulky and i tried to work with it as much as i can um as much as i could um but i'm probably going to just cut it out i just wanted to show you guys it before i cut it um and this is just the hair itself um the hair is not this shiny at top. I have mousse and got to be because like the hair, you know, when you first buy a wig, it'd be like in the wig state. So I needed to like flatten it out so I didn't look like a big bobblehead. <laughs> but besides those two cons, really, this hair is gorgeous. It's, it's, it's long, it's pretty. I want to see how it takes color. These knots are absolutely not bleached. I mean, so I'm going to bleach them myself, but I just wanted to try it on because I was in a rush. <laughs> And I've had this wig um, sitting in my house for now like three days. And I was like, let me just try it on when I got the time. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling kind of baboon, kind of baboon, kind of baboon, boom, 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 doo, doo, doo. I'm very feeling my Barbie element, like bust down Barbie element. I want to see you. I say, if you try this hair out, let me know what you think or your experience with Dola. I'll come back probably in two to four weeks. Um, I'm not going to give you a definite date, but in two to four weeks and update you on this hair. Let you know how I'm feeling, how this blonde carries out. Because you know blonde starts to get stiff after a while with this bad hair. But right now, it's very baboon. It's very cocoon. It's very laloon. I'm down for it. I feel like a bad bitch. And... and Thank you, Dola, for allowing me to live out my, my Barbiana fantasy. You know, I'm just a nice chocolate girl trying to see the world, you know? Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.